Now, other interesting cultural news, you have Disney and Netflix firing their diversity, equity, and inclusion staff. Now, this is unprecedented from a large company scale. It's one of those things where it very quickly became a staple of Fortune 500 companies. And from a marketing perspective, it was quite attractive because they're increasing the sample size of their employees with certain diversities and certain folks. So from marketing and a standpoint, they made sense they also get loans based on this. There, there are many reasons why large companies adopted these initiatives and also government contracts. So there are many layers to the cake, some might say, although I don't eat cake because I'm a man. So perhaps more accurately be, there's more layers to the onion when I'm extravagant and want to buy an onion. That, but that was perhaps more I'm an apt metaphor. Now, a couple weeks ago, we had Disney fire their chief diversity officer by the name of Latandra Newton. And now we have Warner Brothers, Disney, and Netflix all joining that. Now, the New York Post noted that, quote, equity ac activists are outraged at Disney Netflix for forcing their DEI chiefs out. While they're accusing corporate America of, quote, corporate blackface, unquote, and running out of, quote, white guilt. I thought that was a pejorative term you weren't supposed to use those anymore, but perhaps I'm just more sensitive than them. Now, it looks like between June 20th and July 3rd, at least five executives overseeing the DEI initiatives at Disney, Netflix, and Warner Bros. and Disney left their posts. Now, interestingly enough, and somewhat ironic, all of them were African-American women. So, no men there. That, that doesn't sound like diversity to me. Not a single Cuban? I'm outraged. Well, not really, because I don't have my ethnicity is in the forefront of who I am. It's what you do that defines who you are, but that's just me. And interestingly enough, in terms of the cultural response to this, you're not seeing anything on LinkedIn. Now, owning a small business and being in sales, is to, I spend a fair amount of time on LinkedIn and they usually have a couple of good business articles. Unfortunately, a lot of them are more politically charged to skew to the left ideologically. So you gotta filter out some of it, but you always wanna know what other people are saying. Now, I didn't see a single outreach article about this and I find it fascinating that this is one of the few times where I was for sure thought there was gonna be whole pages of the website dedicated to this outrage, but there really wasn't. And I wonder if these companies were losing money because of the initiatives or was it causing a toxic workplace? What was the business reason for doing this? Because Nothing's random in business. Every, every layoff, every hire, every marketing decision, everything is strategic. Some of them are strategically blind, like Bud Light, but they, uh, there's a vision nevertheless. And a lot of people, um, culturally speaking, on the middle and the right are saying this is a big victory as they see the pendulum swinging a little bit back towards the center where you know, we rhymed the clock back in the day, you'd hire people only based on their merit and these DEI initiatives were skewing the hiring processes. So some of them are celebrating this and it'll be interesting to see, are they just, are they gonna hire new DEI? Are they are scrapping, scrapping, scrapping the project completely? I mean, I don't know, it's very unusual to say the least, especially with these large companies. It'll be interesting to see what do they go for, what do they do from here? Time shall tell. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. I especially wanna thank you for taking time to subscribe Try and get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of July. I greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to take time to like the video as well as let me have a couple of comments in there so that we could constantly make the show better and better. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.